Anyway, the biggest topic of the week, which is removing obfuscation in Java edition. What does this mean? When you write a program, usually you would name methods and things like that. If you obfuscate them, what happens is that this gets turned into something like this. Now, obviously, get h is a little bit easier to read than m underscore 39969. Nice. nice. What we need to do is we need to de -opf this, right? Right. We need a key that turns this over here back into this. And now this whole step over here, right? This whole step over here no longer happens, meaning we're going to get all of this. So we're going to get every single name over here. OK, now when people say this is the biggest revolution in Minecraft modding, what I find interesting about this news is that they're even doing things for the modding community right here. That's the craziest thing to me, okay? Because, like, while this has been, like, a thing that was asked, uh, doing this just, like, randomly now is very strange to me. Now, I have said this before, and I will say it again. I think this is gearing up for the one thing that they're trying to do, and that is the Java marketplace. Why do I still keep saying this, and why is this a, a hypothesis of mine? Like I said, I don't know if this is the case. This is a pure speculation, and I, it, this is just my opinion on factoring in a lot of different things. The reason why I think this is the case is they bundled together Bedrock and Java, right? So basically, the Java edition itself doesn't generate any revenue for them, right? They, it doesn't generate any revenue. The only thing it generates is positive PR and sort of the zeitgeist, right? They're, they Minecraft stays within the zeitgeist of the people because people usually on YouTube watch Java content, right? Because it's usually the things that people do mods in. It's like the, you know, crazy challenges. Most, if not, like most of it, I would say is um, Java content. There's better content out there. Absolutely, 100%. But most big things are built in Java. So that's very interesting. But the question is, if the like business people don't see a compelling reason to keep it and they just see this costs us like 25 million to maintain every year. I'm just throwing out numbers, right? I don't know. It might be less. It might be more. Uh, you know, this costs us so much to maintain. Why the frick are we maintaining this? Long term, there are only two options. Monetize the Java edition or get rid of it. And then finally, one other thing and one, one, one other reason why I think that the Java marketplace is a possibility is within the code, they have continued to make it so that you would theoretically be able to add things via JSON files. This says to me, we're moving into the direction of a Java marketplace. It's um, nice to have. It's definitely going to make it easier. But for me, in my personal opinion, it does point to the fact that they might actually go for a Java marketplace.